already it doesn't feel like it um, I still haven't had time to clean out my wardrobe I haven't had time to clean out all the drawers and the bits and pieces that I thought I would be doing and I still haven't had time to sit down and read lots of good books um, and I don't think I've watched one single episode of anything on TV yet what's wrong with me anyhow I've had the most amazing morning I got a message this morning from an old friend in England who I haven't actually seen since 1999 um, but we've managed to keep in touch via WhatsApp and he sent me a message to see if we were all okay and we ended up chatting and exchanging photos and um, he sent me photos of a load of old friends of ours who I haven't actually seen since the late 1990s and it just made me so happy to see pictures of everybody and everybody's looking well and healthy um, and it really made my day so um, that was really nice. Um, and I just thought that's a really nice thing to do, reach out to people who you haven't spoken to for a good 20 years or so. It's the time to do it now, isn't it? So anyway, that's that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. Carlo is already busy doing something up a ladder. Goes to say Paul Ender? Oh, he's uh, redoing the woodwork. Yeah, that needs to be done. It's all, it's all starting to peel. We painted that about seven years ago. Devo grattare, pitturare lì, una cosa molto molto noiosa. Oh, doorbell, hold on. Buongiorno! Our shopping delivery has arrived. Polly, stop it. This is very handy. Without this, we would be living on rice and broccoli. And he takes the crate away with him as well. So he unpacks it all for me. And I better get some money. Okay, what have we got? We've got a pineapple. Some eggs because somebody is not laying yet. Oranges, peppers, apples, shrooms, flour, which apparently is like gold dust in England. Philadelphia butter and some chickpeas. delivery from the fishmongers yesterday um, and they wouldn't bring it here because it was too far so they are delivering it to Carlo's brother who is gonna bring it down later because he's coming to tend to his garden so Hello. so <laughs> <laughs> when that arrives we can do pasta and zucchini and gambari for lunch Morning, chickies. Are you digging holes? Hello. Hello. Would you like some carrot? I haven't cooked it. And some spinach. See if you like that. Oh. Our giant lemon tree hasn't done amazingly well this year, but there's one fairly big lemon. Let me show you. There we go. It's not huge, but it's definitely bigger than something you'd pick up in Sainsbury's. There's another little one here. I say little, it's not that little really, is it? My fish delivery is arriving. Where's the bush pizza? Grazie. Grazie mille. order from the fishmongers I have got more than I thought actually I didn't know what they had fresh so there's a selection of salmon steaks a big bag of frozen flying squid totany which everybody loves cod I think I'll make a fish pie with that two bags of frozen prawns and a bag of frozen peas today for lunch I am making pasta zucchini very very simple dish now Carlo normally complains that I don't make this right so I'm going to get him to come along and check it halfway through treble 
trouble with this gas hob is it doesn't have a low or a high. It's basically on or off. So I'm gonna do it on the small one because I want the flame low. Very noisy outside. Okay, that takes quite a long time to reduce to the consistency that Carlo likes. So I'm just gonna leave that and I'll get back to you in about half an hour. Are you having fun? <laughs> yeah, I know, you don't understand, do you? Why aren't we hiking in the mountains? And what were you doing in my house? Get out. That's coming along nicely. Would you take a look at how this cat is sitting? What are you doing? You look ridiculous. <laughs> is that comfortable? Is it comfortable like that? And of course, as usual, I got distracted and forgot to show you what I was doing, but I basically cooked the pasta, mixed it all up, added a little bit of water from the pasta so it's not too dry. And now all that is left to do is grate a lot of Parmesan cheese into it and eat it. Just so you all know, this cat, who is not mine, belongs upstairs. He seems to prefer it downstairs, but he is not going to come and live downstairs because we have enough animals downstairs already and you are not invited. So after my call with my friend this morning, I have decided I'm going to go through my photos, my giant box of photos. Let's see if I can find some photos of us when we were younger. So, we just go through <laughs> Sit down the end one. Okay. Mexican style. <laughs> Here's an old picture of me and my brother swimming in the Piazza della Repubblica in Rome. Here's a picture of me and my brother now climbing up the Trevi Fountain. Probably not allowed anymore either. Well, maybe I was always destined to be a makeup artist. My poor brother. And at the very bottom of the box, I have found the first ever photo of me and Carla together. This is on New Year's Eve 2000, the Millennium Night. Annoyingly, I haven't found photos I was actually looking for, which means they must be in my other box of photos, which is at my dad's house in England, so I'm not going to see them anytime soon. Caro is still outside painting, even though it's 10 to 7 and it's dark. I am now going to make an apple and pear crumble because I've got lots of apples and lots of pears, <laughs> and I don't know what else to do with myself. I may not have mentioned that he's actually started to paint the whole house, so the table's gone again. And <laughs> The whole house is being painted. It'll be nice and sparkly white. <laughs> Call me. Che sto facendo là dentro? Talk again, Sky. Sky, what have we done? He's not in the cupboard. So this is how I make my crumble. I have chopped up two apples and two pears, and then I always like to juice an orange and pour the juice and the pulp into it. It just gives it an extra bit of flavour. We'll also add in some, uh, what's it called in English? Cinnamon. Give that a bit of a mix up. For the crumble, I don't really measure anything, but I'm guessing a handful of pie jokes, a handful of flour, the dark brown sugar, and some butter to make it crumbly. And I'd normally put some more cinnamon in, but I've hardly got any left, so I'm going to save that just in case I don't get any more. And then just make it into crumble. Spread it out over the top, stick it in the oven for about 40 minutes, I think. And now it is time for a nice cup of tea and a biscuit. I'm very impressed with Sky over here. She's watching TV in Spanish. 
Does anybody else's oven do this? You have to stand back, otherwise you get a blast of heat in your face. But that looks like it's pretty much done, it's bubbling away. It's getting very windy, isn't it? Carlo is making something again. Let's have a look and see what he is making today. What is it? Um, stiamo recuperando un vecchio attrezzo che è questo. Ah, so he's making a manico per questo. A handle. Così. And what wood is this? Quale legno? Arancio, quello from that orange tree right there. Sicuramente uh, è più comodo comprare una nuova. Ma <laughs> non possiamo uscire. <laughs> non possiamo uscire, quindi <laughs> non abbiamo niente da fare, riutilizziamo questo. Bravo. Che succede? Veramente. Dov'è? Uh. <laughs> Piccola uova. Allora, fare quello, Anche io le contento. Guarda, guarda, guarda. È tutta eccitata. Ma chi sei lì? È tutta eccitata. That's our very first egg. Tiny. <laughs> sì. Chi è stata quella brava? Come facciamo a saperlo? Questo. Sì? Che ce l'ha la cresta rossa. Sì? E quello vuol dire quando ce l'hanno la cresta rossa vuol dire che sono pronti a fare le uova. Ok. Ho fatto la mia ricetta. Ok. I'm going to leave the egg in there for Sky to collect it. He's just put in another little light. Detto questo caso sarà acceso come il tuo Raifel quando hai finito. Ah, ah no, non è vero. <laughs> Right, I'm going to take Holly out for a very, very quick little walk just down the pathway and back again. Come on, let's go. In the last few days, I've been having so many cancellations work-wise. Obviously, I'm, in, I'm a makeup artist and people come here to get married. Obviously, people are cancelling, but it's, um, it is quite worrying, I've got to say. Um, we do work here seasonally, so we work from Easter through till... Um, beginning of November really and that's the season and in that period six months you've got to earn everything to keep you going for the whole year um, now that season has been cut the moment I'm losing work in March April May and June so that leaves at the moment July August September and October so it's gonna be very tight money wise this year obviously I'm not the only one this is happening to everybody in Italy Italy is very tourism based and especially this area so everybody is losing money drastically and I'm sure it's gonna have a profound effect on everybody but what I want to say to you again is don't cancel your holidays postpone them because we need all the help we can get once we're up and running again so don't cancel postpone Sky can gather the first egg. I've been waiting until she wakes up. If she can get in. <laughs> it's in the egg house. In the egg house. It's in the hen house. It's small. I know, it's tiny, tiny. isn't it? But they get bigger as they get, I don't know, better at it. <laughs> get older. Who, 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 who did, did it? it? The one that's in the hole. Really? Yeah. What are you going to have for breakfast now? Cereal. No eggs. <laughs> <laughs>
For lunch today, we are making mushroom and pea risotto. Very easy to do, I've got tons of mushrooms. Um, I asked for a packet and they sent me probably the equivalent of about six packets worth, so I have to use them up. Um, chopped up the mushrooms, I'm just cooking them in a pan with lots of garlic and then I will add in the rice. And I got distracted again talking to Sky. So I chopped up the mushrooms, I cooked them with some squashed garlic, I added the rice, I put in a big slug of cooking wine, and now I'm slowly adding the broth bit by bit and just continually stirring it so it doesn't stick. I asked earlier on YouTube if you would be interested in seeing videos posted more frequently during this time when we're all stuck at home and there was a resounding yes. So I'm going to try and post every second day um, if I can get enough content, if we do enough, um, but it'll keep me busy at least. And um, I will post the hiking video at some point this week as well as a little extra bonus. Um, thank you very much for all your replies. Thank you all for watching. Stay home, stay safe, and I will see you in a couple of days.